How old are you? 18. 18. Do you remember when you first started playing? I think I was 8, 7 or 8. 7 or 8. Yeah. So what was your, your kind of first reaction to the fiddle? Well, it was a little bit unlike other instruments. I played before like the piano or something because... You know, if you take the bow and you just drag it across the strings, it doesn't make a good sound like pressing keys. So it was kind of frustration at first, I would say. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and uh, had you already been playing an instrument at that point? Yeah, I had played piano for maybe two years. Okay. So it was a little bit of a kind of a... It was certainly that. jarring at first to see it played very well and then to pick it up and be like, this is not intuitive at first. To what do you attribute the fact that you guys were doing as well as you did well i think there's sort of i think there's sort of three imperative things that kind of help you get over some of those humps to really kind of progress and i think the first one is um it has to be you know enjoyable in the sense that when i was playing piano it was still enjoyable but it was really based around equal parts learning to sight read music learning scales and then attributing those scales to a piece and that was really slow going. It's valuable, but it's really slow going. And when we were learning with you, it was sort of, we would just jump in and learn a song. And so pretty soon, whether or not we were sounding great, we were playing tunes. We were, you know, we were just playing compositions. And that was fun because you felt like you were making something or you felt like you were taking part in something complete that wasn't just scales for no apparent reason. And that kind of helped, I think, build momentum and sort of to help sustain that. Um, I remember early on, my dad was going to play fiddle um, and then gave his fiddle to Keaton and started playing guitar with us. Um, but that kind of allowed us to make some fun arrangements of tunes that we'd heard before, maybe pop songs or whatever, and just play them around in local you know, venues like old folks homes and whatnot. And being able to make that connection between playing a composition and having someone viscerally enjoy it kind of helps sustain that motivation that you're doing something that's actually meaningful. And I think the third milestone there would just be um, sort of combining those things and realizing that you're making progress. Like, you know, you're, you're, you can plateau at places, but you're ultimately just getting better over time, you know, honing in technique and therefore just creating a more complete experience for other people. And at what point did you, did you begin to feel like, wow, I'm, I'm actually beginning to sound good? I think... If I'm being honest, at least the first full probably year, it was I was playing on such a small fiddle and, you know, I was just learning this technique that I definitely don't think that it sounded good, you know, out of such a small bodied instrument for a long time. But um, I think every time I ended up, I had a quarter size fiddle and then I had a half size and then a three quarter size, finally a full fiddle. And every time I got a new fiddle, I think it would sound ages better because it was a little bit bigger. And I think that maybe it was with the introduction of the half size fiddle that I thought this kind of starts to sound good, <laughs> you know? Yeah. What, what did that look like during the week? For the first several years, as I recall, it was pretty uh, religious hour a day or 30 minutes to an hour a day I don't remember it wasn't that long of an amount of time but it was every day um, and we would spend a certain amount of time working with as I remember it was two sets two separate sessions it was a time that I was working solo on whatever you downloaded on my mp3 player that week and there's a second session in the evening when dad got home from work that we'd play together and work on arranging a tune yeah, I think that I think it was the idea. It was sort of just the the environment of learning tunes, but then also the excitement of you know creating a uh, like an arrangement or something, and then coming in with it is motivating because yeah. it ultimately sounds better than just you doing it by yourself. So, I mean, do you look back on that and go, "Yeah, that was kind of fun," or was that, "Oh man, that was a lot of work"? And well, it's just both, you know, yeah. especially when it's in the evening and you're like eight and you get tired. But um, it was, I think it was mostly fun. I think it was both, though. Yeah. Did you ever hit a point um, where you're like, ah, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I think, I'm, I, I think I might actually quit. I think by the time I wanted to entertain that idea, I mean, the short answer, yes, definitely at times. But I think what happened eventually is I'd played long enough you know, only a couple years, but long enough to realize I'd invested enough time in it that it was like, you know, one of the things that I can feel like I actually have worked at and I can perform for someone and they will enjoy it 
is through that. And that was super valuable to me. And it was like, well, I wouldn't want to throw that away, even if it felt and it does feel at times like you're just plateauing, you know what I mean? Skill wise. But, you know, what what makes you pick up your fiddle anymore and what makes you kind of uh, what motivates you? It's it's not so much learning new material as much as wanting to um, arrange or jam with friends whenever there's the opportunity because you know I might try to play a different instrument or whatever but as soon as it boils down to it I'm most comfortable I've spent the most time building a foundation with fiddle and so it's ultimately the most fun to do with other people when I feel comfortable with it right. so probably playing with other people so what about what about the performance angle of things for you performance is not something that comes naturally to me at all um, but it's something I practiced a lot you know doing it but um, I think only in the last few years, and I think this is with the less, the less chances to perform, have I really started enjoying, when, enjoying them when they come up. Because, well, I don't know why, actually. But I, I would say playing with people is more fun to me, typically, than making an arrangement for a bunch of people. Though I will say there's nothing quite like the elation of playing something that's derived of your and the other people's skill and synergy and a bunch of people just enjoying it and thinking it's quality like that's pretty great but so what is your you know advice for people that are starting out in this for their parents or kids and they're just kind of like looking at <laughs> there's in level one and then they're thinking god is this even worth it this is a long haul i mean what what do you tell people? I mean, what, what would you do with your own kids for that matter? You know, it's... I hate, like everyone else, being feeling like I'm a beginner at something. It's no fun. But that being said, um, being having the ability to start from the ground up with something and just establish a base and enjoy what you're doing while you're doing it is, like, so valuable. And I would say... Um, I would say sticking with it because fiddle is one of, I, well, I don't know if this for a fact, but certainly my experience playing fiddle is it's like, it's just kind of, it's really hard at first because it's, it's again, it's like a, it's horsehair and metal. It's like these things don't seem like they should work together, but eventually it kind of exponentially increases in how fun it is when you start to make that connection intuitively. And I would say it's certainly worth playing it until you enjoy it and when you do, <laughs> just keep keep following that because it should present itself. I would say. What do you What do you imagine your relationship with music, or what your what you'll be doing with music, say ten years from now? I don't have any idea. I think it will play an important role, but um, as to what that looks like, I I don't know. I think I think there's like there's sensibilities from like improvisation and composition and just learning things by ear and and playing with other people that are like that extend beyond just just that that performance aspect and I think that I end up care, trying to carry those all over especially like just how you interact with those players and stuff when you're arranging things and I think that that will always be important and I think further developing that is going to be a major theme in my life, but I have no idea in what capacity. Mm -hmm.